Well, extreme heat can also affect Lake Pontchartrain. Toxic algae is already an issue on the lake. And the heat could make it worse. WGNO's Kenny Lopez spoke with the people who are keeping an eye on the algae situation. He joins us live from the Bonneville Boat Launch. Kenny. Now, it's important for the Pontchartrain Conservancy to monitor the water, and that includes the water temperature. Today, the water temperature hit 85 degrees, and with that kind of heat, it could cause changes to the water. The sun is blazing down on Lake Pontchartrain, affecting the water, and it could lead to bigger algae problems. Really hot, as we've been hearing on the weather, um, it causes issues for all of us. There's definitely algae in the lake, uh, which is a natural occurrence. We see it come and go. Christy Trail, the executive director of the Pontchartrain Conservancy, says it's important they keep track of the water quality and high temperatures in the water. We actually do monitor the temperature of the water here at Pontchartrain Conservancy every Tuesday. Right now, the lake temperature is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. One thing that we look for when we see the temperature change is how much oxygen's in the water. The things that live in the water need oxygen to survive. Yes, the extremely hot temperatures do affect the algae blooms on the lake, but there are other factors that affect what the lake will look like. It's an abundance of nutrients, warm temperatures, a um, little bit of a lack of wind and change in tides, and that it's a very dynamic estuary. It changes on a day-to-day -day basis, which is why we monitor it so frequently. One thing to look for is if you do see that blue-green color, we'd like to know about it or alert the state. While fishermen feel algae is causing the fish not to bite, it could be the heat. But fish, they know what to do when the water gets warm. Sometimes they'll bury themselves down a little lower where they can find a cooler spot. The lake is a very dynamic ecosystem. It's connected to the Gulf of Mexico. Each time the tide changes, the wind changes, that also includes a temperature change. Now, the NOAA has a monitoring station over at the New Canal Lighthouse, and they monitor the water's temperature in real time. If you'd like to see those results, you can go to the Pontchartrain Conservancy's website or on their app. Okay, Kenny, we'll check it out. Thank you.